Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using Kden Live, the free video editing software. In this video, we're going to be adding in a video clip that has existing audio, and we'll be swapping out the audio from that video and just adding in music instead of the audio that the video came with. So if you want to follow along, I'm just going to be downloading some project clips um, from Pixabay and from freesound.org. The Pixabay clip we're going to find, first of all, I'm going to change my search to videos. And I'll search for this video called Runoff. Ooh, run. I'm thinking rain and runoff at the same time. It's uh, just a video of rain uh, falling against a window. So I'll left click on this. This is what it sounds like. It's just some raindrops dripping down some glass. So we'll download this video. Click free download. I already have it downloaded. I think I did the 1920 by 1080. Go ahead and hit download and download this video. And then I'm going to also be using uh, going to freesound.org. And I just searched music. And this search might change at the time that you search. There'll be different options here. But today, I was able to just find this music here. I can kind of play. This shows kind of the waveform of it. I'll left click on this file. And this file is by JP Music 82 And the last one was from uh, Most Media. Both of them are really, uh, released under the Creative Commons Zero license. So we really appreciate these users sharing these files with us. Go ahead and just hit download. And you can download this. I already have it downloaded. So they are in my downloads folder. And then to bring those in, we can just click here. We've done before, you can go clip, uh, I mean uh, project, add clip, or you can just click on this under your project bin. You can click on this add clip button and it brings up a dialogue to add the clip in. So maybe we'll add the MP3 file, the music file this way and hit okay. And now we have our music file. You can play it and see what it looks like. But you can also drag and drop. So if you have your, doc, your, your folder open or your files, you're viewing them in the browser here. Uh, let me come back. Uh, we'll just drag and drop this video of the rain runoff into our project bin. Remember, we always have to have it in the project bin. If we try to drag it down to the timeline, it won't work. Nothing will go into the timeline unless it's first in our project bin. And so from our project bin, we can kind of scroll this over and see. I rearranged this since the last video. And so... We can actually click and drag different parts to anywhere we want to. But I'm going to keep my project bin right here, uh, right there. So if yours looks a little different than mine, you can rearrange it. And look, I actually opened up a third window now. Oh, I have clip properties now as a separate thing. And it was a little tab down here. So we'll, we'll keep it there as a tab. So what that does, it just creates a tab at the bottom that we can toggle between, just like we were with our project monitor and clip monitor. And then we can watch our runoff. See what this video looks like. Awesome. So to get started, we need to put it down into our in our into our timeline. So I'll left click on this video file and I'll move it to video one track. And then our audio file, I'll left click on and put it onto the audio uh, audio one track. So now we have these. I want to zoom in and see them a little bit closer. So I'm going to come to the bottom right here and just with the scroll bar, scroll in to zoom in so I can see that a little bit better. Now I can click. If I hold and hold down on my left mouse cursor, I can actually, it's called scrubbing. I can scrub along and watch the video and listen to the audio. And so I don't want to do too much of that because I'm recording the video at the same time. My computer's getting a little overloaded, I think. Anyway, and then um, I want to get rid of some of these video tracks. We have three video tracks. You don't have to do this, but it's just something nice to learn how to do. If you right click on a video track, you can just go to delete track. It says, what do you want to do? Delete video three, okay. Video two, right click, delete track, and okay. So now we just have one video track. And I'm going to leave our second audio track, and I'll show you why in a second here. But we can zoom in and uh, make our, our tracks are kind of thin now. We can make them even thinner by clicking this button here, or uh, this one, smaller tracks. Makes them small. So you can have a dozen different video tracks and audio tracks and have a very complex um, edit that you're doing. Or if it's a simple one like this, we can just click and scale it up and make it a little bit larger to see. So you see, we see our, we have our audio waveform down here um, for our music. And then there's also a little bit of audio. You see these kind of almost looks like little mountain ridges that we're seeing the audio waveform of the video as well. If we want to mute, we can click this speaker button and it'll mute just that track. So audio one track is now muted. Now if we go ahead and play this, we just hear the... Uh, rain. If I click unmute, that music will start playing. And we can go back and mute just the rain. So it's just music playing. And then we can mute both of them 
and have just the video playing. So that's that's how you can control muting. This lock button makes it so when it's locked, we can't edit or make any changes to it. Whereas this one, we, we can still move around the audio. We can move it down to, to audio two if we want. But this lock button makes this track locked. So that's what those buttons do. Well, I'm going to unmute both of these now. And I'm going to show you how to separate out the audio. So we could just mute it. And then we could render our video and be fine. But sometimes you might want to separate the audio from your video and use just the audio file somewhere. Or you might want to move it forward. Since this is a rain sound, it's not really, it doesn't matter if it's tied to a specific event of this video because it's just constant pattern the whole time. So we might want to move it forward or, or back a little bit. So let's right click and go to split audio. And that puts the audio down in this uh, audio track below. They're still tied to each other. They're still, it's called grouped. They're grouped together. So if we move one, the other one will move along with it. That's because if you ever have like a, a person, a video of a person talking or something that you want, a lot of times your audio will be, you'll want it to be in sync with your video. But at this, we don't want that to happen in this case necessarily. So we can right click and go to ungroup clips and that'll make it so that we can control these separately. We could do the same thing if we want this music Maybe we want this to go to the end here, and we want this music track and this video track to go together. We can uh, we can hold down the shift key and select both of them, or maybe the control key, is that it? Yeah, hold down the control key. We can select them both and move them together like that. Um, and we can hold down the control key once they're both selected. We can right click and go group clips. Then they'll always stay together, even if we don't, even if we unclick. But I'm going to ungroup them. So that's how grouping works. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Oh, did I ungroup them? Yeah, now they're ungrouped. Okay, so let's do this. Let's have the rain sound start with a black screen, and then let's have our video start. So it's going to go left to right. The playhead's going to start over here. We'll have some rain, then the video will start, and then the music will start. And then maybe we want to end the whole thing. We want this music to end with the last frame of the video clip. So to do that, we're going to uh, cut the video like we did in the last, uh, the last tutorial. We go to, over here to this little scissor icon and left click it. This gives us our razor tool. And we, our, our cursor turns to a little scissors. And wherever we click, we can cut. I'm just left clicking a couple of times. We can cut different parts of this. Then if we want to move them, we have to go back to our selection tool, which is right here. And we can select and grab this piece of audio around and move it. Uh, we don't want it in the video track necessarily, but we hit the delete key and it goes away. So we'll select this one, left click and delete. Left click and delete. And then we, let's go back to our razor tool, or we can hit the X key on our keyboard to bring up that razor tool. And then we go right to where the playhead is, because I want to cut this right at the, right when our video clip ends, I want the audio to end as well. And then to get back to our selection tool, we can click here, or we can press the S key on our keyboard, then left click. It's selected, it has the red box around it, hit delete. And so now our video and our music will end at the same time. And then just at the start of the video, it's gonna be all black. Uh, but maybe I kinda want that as like a, an effect. And so I'm not gonna do any more in this video, but in the next video, uh, we'll, be, we'll look at actually adding in these effects here. So you just like left click and drag and drop an audio effect in and it actually adds in that audio effect to that part of the file. And same with the video effects. So we'll be playing with a lot of these different things uh, in the future, uh, in future tutorials. So check those out. But to render this video out, so I'm gonna delete these effects that I put in. I probably shouldn't have done that yet. And to render this project out, we'll just left click render if we like it the way it is. I always click on MP4 and then choose a location to render this file to. So I'm gonna do mine on my desktop. I'll just call it test.mp4 and hit save. Then we just hit render to file. And it goes, since it's a short video, it's 11 seconds long, about a little over 11 seconds. It just takes a few seconds to render. Uh, and then we have this rendering of this video. And again, if you're making an actual real project, you might want to check out, um, make, you'll want to make sure that you go into your uh, project and, and project settings, and you can configure the type of video you want if you're working in 4K, if you're working in 1080p, 720p, that's just the size, the resolution. But by default, I think, I'm not sure if it's default or I set it, but I always work in 1080p 
and 30 FPS or 29.97 FPS. Anyway, that's completely rendered out now, so we'll just see our finished product. This is our video that we made. And pretty awesome. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, join me in the next one where we'll dive into uh, using some of these different effects. Go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below. We'll see you in the next one.